Okay, hey guys, good morning. So this is my warmers, the lids just taken out of the freezer. So usually what I do is at nighttime, I'll round up all my warmers, put them in the freezer so that way they are ready to go in the morning. My easiest warmer to pop out, so as you can see, this is frozen and all you have to do is just kind, you just kind of work it with your finger and it just pops right out. So I let these thaw a little bit so they're not so cold. Um, you don't want to stick them on the warmer, you know, right as they get out of the freezer. So usually I have a little bit of time to decide on what wax I'm going to use and what have you. So like this guy, some of the waxes, like I notice, if they're a softer wax, they're a little bit harder to get out, which I will use my handy dandy. <laughs> and if you don't have one of these, I took my old fondue forks <laughs> and um, I just wedged them in there like that. That's what I, I just stuck it under and then it went like that. And then I just kind of poke the, um, I'm not really showing you in the best spot, but I just kind of poke the edges so that everything comes out. You can also do the cotton ball method, which is just taking the, the wax while it's still warm and you just throw some cotton balls in there and it soaks it right up. So there's that. Uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just empty out all the wax out of my warmers and then I'm going to load them up. Now, as you can see, the blue Glade lid right here is one that I just use on any random hot plate. Like I don't have the, like the Glade warmer was put up because I feel like the Glade warmer is getting pretty old. The one in the very back there is a Scentsy lid. And I think I have another Scentsy lid. I think it's in the bedroom though and I didn't pull it last night. So I'm going to, <laughs> to have a wand here. I'm going to take all the wax out and then I'm going to refill them up and then I'll just kind of show you what warmers they go on and if you know they go on the warmer they belong on or if it's you know just whatever so yeah here we go okay so one thing i did forget to mention in my yesterday's video where i was talking about wax warmers is some people also use those tins like little um i'll try to link it down below if i can find them but they're little tins and you can put them in your warmer dish so that way you just pull the tin and you don't have to worry about um, your warmer dishes. Now, you can see my Glade white one in the back here. Let me see if I can just zoom in. You can see how dirty that one is. That one I will try to clean later with some barkeepers friends. Sorry, the lighting's not great. It's super early in the morning. It's like 6.30. So a barkeeper's friend will probably clean that right up. Also too, if you try the cotton ball method, sometimes that'll clean it up. Like wax melting, and then wiping it out sometimes will clean the warmer. I don't know why, it just does. So I'm gonna weigh this to see how much wax we're putting in because like I had said yesterday with Shauna saying that, you know, try half an ounce. But the first thing I'm gonna put in the ba bathroom is Super Tarts Mint 2B, Mint 2B. And let's weigh this and see how much it is just to see, cause you know, honestly, I just eyeball this stuff. So this is half an ounce. Okay, so this is gonna go in my bathroom, which is a smaller space. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right in my bathroom warmer there. The other thing sometimes that can help, I feel like with scent throw, if you're, or if you're not getting a good scent, is to use one like whole thing around your entire house. So to put all the same scent in all of your warmers, so that way it's just going through your entire house. I think sometimes that helps. So I'm gonna do Teddy B's Blankets by the Bonfire this is, come on, focus. Cotton, white tea, bergamot, lavender. I don't know why that's not focusing. And bonfire bliss. So cotton, white tea, bergamot, lavender, bonfire bliss. So now this is a pretty huge clamshell. And I have a feeling that the clam, the cubes inside are gonna be kind of larger than your normal. Her wax is really soft too. Let's see how much one of these cubes weighs. Just out of curiosity. Okay, so it's half an ounce, so that's perfect. So let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna fill up my warmers here. 
this wax is super soft. Now this is gonna be difficult to, I notice with sometimes with scoops, like they'll just come out fine and it's okay. But her wax, I've noticed too, sometimes the freezer method is, it's hard to get like these softer waxes out. Scoop will sometimes come out just fine. So I don't know, it's kind of a crap shoot. All right, so I actually have a scent shot in this scent. So you know what, I'm going to grab the scent shot and put it in these last two warmers. So that was that, blankets by the bonfire. So I used an entire clam. Just gonna have it going through the entire house and see how that works. I am going to go get the scent shot and put that in as well because I do have a blanket spot bonfire and we'll just have the whole scent going through the house except for the bathroom, which is a super tart it's meant to be. So let's try that. Okay, so here is my blanket spot bonfire scent shot. I've probably had this a, a while. So what I'm gonna do is in my little drawer here, I keep my fondue sticks and I keep my cutter, which is messy as well. But what I do when I just need to cut something, I'll just dump it in like that. And then I will just take my wax cutter and just cut it right in the dish. And then, boom. Um, you know what, let's see how much this is, how much this weighs real fast. This is, Oh, so this is a little bit heavier. It's 0.7 ounces, so that's okay. So maybe I don't do as much as I thought I was doing with the entire ounce, because um, I was saying yesterday that I usually do an ounce to an ounce and a half, but maybe I'm not. Maybe I am doing less than an ounce, so we'll see. Um, Super Tarts Clams, I would be interested to, to see how much a cube of that is, because I usually do a cube like if I'm doing it in my kitchen, I would do a cube in each warmer, in three warmers. So I don't know, we'll see. Okay, now I'm off to put these on the plates. I think they're thawed out enough, or cool enough, so I think it's ready to go. Okay, so I know that this dish looks awful. I'm gonna show you really quick how easy it is to clean it with Barkeeper's Friends. So this is the before. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle some Barkeeper's Friend, get it a little wet, and then take a brush and go at it, and I'll show you the end result. I mean, you can get this thing totally clean, but look how dirty that is, holy crap. Okay, so this is the dish after it's been clean. Now, it is not perfect, but I mean, it's pretty good. This is probably one of my oldest dishes. This is the Glade White. Um, the blue was the first one I had, and then this was the probably the second warmer I ever got from the Glade line. So this dish has been around for a long time. I could probably clean the rest of it off like really good if I wanted to, but I think that's a huge improvement. Pink waxes for some reason seem to want to stain our dishes, but um, yeah, it's like the pinks and the reds sometimes I feel like. So anyways, all right, that is it. I will show you some of the warmers. Okay, so as I said before, the Ashland warmer, I just have on a coaster and then the lid, it doesn't matter. I just put whatever lid I have available. Like I said, the Ashlands are pretty big. So you can, I mean, they fit most lids. So that's a Scentsy lid. I think that goes to the Bride warmer. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Bride warmer uh, lid. So that's what I use on there. I'm about to put this, glade, this white Glade warmer on there and you'll see that, and then I'll just flip it on. Okay, and that is that. So that will start warming. And like I said, this is back in the bedroom. The bedroom is not that big, I don't think. Let me here, I can just kind of let me see if I can swing you around here. Let me just zoom you out. And we'll just do a little turn. Got the kitty there. So you can see the door back there. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much the size of this room. It's not super huge here. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how many square feet it is, so I can't tell you that. But anyways, okay, let's move on. 
Okay, so I'm standing in the middle of my kitchen and I'm just gonna show you. So back here we have a little eat-in kitchen. I think you guys have probably seen it before. It's back there, you guys can see it. Okay, let's take you guys back down. So this is, I'm in the center of the kitchen. So I have a warmer over here in this corner, kind of the left-hand corner. And then when we move, I have one over here in the right-hand corner. And then if we flip around, so refrigerator, refrigerator, more counter space. So here I have my, okay, why is this uneven? Okay. Here is my newest warmer, the three-in-one candle warmers. So I have that third one here. Excuse the dishes, I haven't put them away yet. But yeah, that's just how I have it set up right now. It seems to work pretty good. Like I said, I have about 0.5 ounces in each warmer, so I will let you know how it does. All right, so let's take a look at the living room. Okay, so I did forget to add that on the Ashland warmer, I do add a little bit more wax. And then on the 20 watt warmer, the Walgreens, which is on the left here. Sorry, my nail, ugh, my nail's all chipped already. This, okay, this is the, uh, Walgreens 20 watt and then the Ashland is right behind. Sorry, it's kind of dark. Let me see if I can light it up a little bit in here. Um, whoops, nope, <laughs> that wasn't it. Um, okay, maybe that helped. So there's a little wax in it too. So I have these on our um, speaker, our little sound system, <laughs> which I know is not ideal, but for some reason this little area just works as far as getting a scent through. Like I tried moving them under the TV or by the TV. It looked weird, I didn't like it. So down here is kind of more hidden and out of sight. So let me just show you, it's kind of more to the right of the room, which is kind of odd, but let's just, Let's try to move this here and I can just kind of show you the layout of the room here. So we've got the back wall here and then we have the couch. Sorry about the blankets. My daughter and I were just laying around there and then you just kind of come around here. There's like an entryway over here. And I don't know, it just fills up the space. So I've, I've actually going to put a warmer in this room back here. I'm not sure where yet because I don't have like a side table or anything in here, but I don't know. So that's how this space is set up. Um, hold on, I'm gonna turn you guys back around. So if you guys get dizzy, just don't watch. Okay, um, that's the dog's play toy bin right there. <laughs> So yeah, so that is that. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say on that. Um, I don't feel like there was anything else I was gonna say. I'm gonna try to link some more warmers down below because a lot of you guys chimed in on the last video about the some of the warmers that I forgot to mention. And you guys had, I had asked a question in wax chat and a lot of you guys had chimed in over there and I completely forgot. Like I just, I had it in my Amazon cart and I just haven't like bought anything. I, I, I do wanna get a tea light as well, just to try it out. I might try it in our bathroom because I don't have anything in our bathroom. Um, I don't like taking up counter space with a warmer. So a tea light might be small enough to just set in there and go that direction. So yeah, um, I will check back in in a little bit. Okay, bye guys. Okay, hey guys, so I'm gonna close out the video here. I have Champy next to me if you hear a lot of rattling. <laughs> He's still in that puppy stage. But anyway, so I wanted to just close out the video. I kind of showed you my morning process. So what I'll do is probably in about, I don't know, maybe about noonish, I'll turn off all my warmers. And as you can see, I get up pretty early. So I start my warmers pretty early in the morning and then I let them run probably till about noon-ish, noon one. Depends on what I'm doing for the day, honestly. And then I'll turn them off, I'll put them in the freezer again, and then I'll change out the scent and start with a new scent. Depending on how it's going. Oh gosh, the dog almost knocked over the tripod. Oh geez. All right, so anyways, this isn't my favorite. Sorry about that. The dog decided to jump on in there. And now I have slobber on my camera lens. I'm gonna have to do something about that. But, so yeah, the Bonfire Bliss, the white tea, and just kind of a little bit floral. Just a little bit too much for me, but it's, 
not so strong like teddy bees is normally pretty strong for me but this go around it's kind of just a little bit lighter so that's i guess kind of good so this meant to be meant to be from supercharged is in the bathroom this one's going strong this is cucumber fresh mint cologne and menthol this one is a little too much for me as well i'm not <laughs> you know do you guys ever have those mornings where you put scents in and you just have like you're just not having the best luck or they're not your favorites. So you're just like, ah, I kind of want to start over. That would be this. Uh, it's just a little bit, maybe it's the menthol. I'm never a big menthol fan in the first place. So yeah, um, but it's good. It's strong. So there's that. Okay, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for checking in. And as always, I appreciate you guys. And maybe this helped you or maybe not. If you want to comment down below how... If you have your warmer setup similar to mine or completely different, I'd love to know. I've been loving the input so far from my last video, the warmer video. Um, I love hearing what you guys use in your home because it always gives me ideas. I always want to be thinking about you know, how I can set up better, differently, whatever, and you guys are the key to that. So thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.